Alright, so in this motor, this field winding is in series with the armature and then in series with the other field winding. So they're all in series. Armature gets more voltage and these get less voltage. So these field windings should give out higher amps. So I think I'm going to give the armature power and get my generator power from the field windings. Okay, so I have my meter hooked up to one field winding. And we're going to hook up 5 volts to the armature and see if we can generate anything. I think we got, um, I think the brushes are stuck. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, well, I found the problem. I took the cap off and the brush is stuck. And now it's coming out. got a lot of life left in it. It just needs to be cleaned. Oh, this side was stuck even worse. It felt like I was going to snap the wire off just pulling it out. Okay, now I just got to bend these back. I'm going to have to do it off camera, but that's pretty much it. Then I'm done. Okay, let's try it now. That's a little more like it. Well, that's not working too good. found out it doesn't work right if you power the armature and generate with the field winding. You have to power the field winding. But if you do that, it generates a pretty good amount. Alright, so I made some improvements. I connected both field windings in series. For what I'm doing with it, it made more sense to hook them in series because these pull like a lot of amps at only like 3 volts. If you were planning it to running it on like one volt, you might want to hook these up in parallel. But for me, I'm just going to be running off my power supply. So higher volts into the field windings, less amps is ideal. And you have to make sure you hook them the right way. Uh, so I did that. And then this will be our output. So I'm ready to put this on the bike. Alright, so I'm looking to set up my generator bike with a vacuum cleaner motor as the generator. It doesn't have permanent magnets, so you can adjust the output based on how much you put into it. And I already made this as an e-bike, but it didn't work. Because I was running it off a power inverter, and it was pulling like 400 amps from my lawnmower battery. Uh, that went right there, but basically it lines up with the wheel. This just slides on. Okay. And... I made this as a bushing here, so put some spring tension on there. All right, so we got the spring here. This has less leverage than, um, it's just the way it's put. It doesn't have much leverage, so um, it's nice and easy to roll. I might need to increase the force when I put load on it. So we're giving power to this end of uh, this field winding and this end of the bottom field winding and getting power from the armature so this connects to the voltmeter and the other voltmeter lead is connected to the other end of the field winding uh, i mean armature see it's sparking a little so we're sitting at three volts two amps so let's see if it generates anything oh yeah look at that 11 volts that easy Over 20 volts. Not bad. Check amps. This is the big thing. Okay, not very much, but this is why it's good that it's universal because I can just increase this power. I'd say it can handle probably 4 amps, so right about 6 volts. 
gonna be a lot harder to turn now. Okay. <laughs> 